Hello and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. Is Meghan Markle planning on writing her own memoir? A source tells Radar, she fully intends to write this book and leave no stone unturned. It's just a question of timing and how long she wishes to hold out in order to preserve what's left of her and Harry's relationship with King Charles. The feeling at this point is there's little to lose and she may as well go ahead. It goes without saying that her book won't pull any punches. We are a little over a week away from Prince Harry's new book, Spare, with a release date of January 10th. Harry will appear on 60 Minutes on Sunday, and if the past is any guide, there could be advanced excerpts in the British tabloids. The official description of Spare reads, It was one of the most searing images of the 20th century. Two boys, two princes, walking behind their mother's coffin as the world watched in sorrow and horror. As Diana, Princess of Wales, was laid to rest, billions wondered what the princes must be thinking and feeling, and how their lives would play out from that point on. For Harry, this is that story at last. With his raw, unflinching honesty, Spare is a landmark publication full of insight, revelation, self-examination, and hard-won wisdom about the eternal power of love over grief. Royal author Christopher Anderson believes the book will continue to attack William. Anderson told Royally Us, I think any attack on William is going to be seen because William is the heir, as an attack on the monarchy, an attack on Charles. If this dog and pony show known as the monarchy is going to continue to thrive, it's only going to be because of Charles' ability to navigate all of it. If he can't, I think they're in real trouble, and it's a very, very damaging to the reputation of the monarchy. Anderson thought the coronation might be an opportunity to heal the family. I thought the whole thing was fascinating. When looking at the coronation coming up, I would have said, I got the impression they would be invited to the coronation and they would attend. Now I'm beginning to wonder whether they would even go if they were invited. They're going a long way to really severing old ties with the royals. You wouldn't blame the royal family, especially the new king, to be furious at the kind of disruption this is all causing. Royal author Katie Nichol expects Harry's book will have similar themes. The very title is very indicative of the thrust of this book. Harry struggles with being the spare and his frustration. I suspect we will hear more about growing up royal, which will be very interesting, and clearly his journey to find the one. Their love story will perhaps be retold. There is still a lot more he can say. There are conversations he can cover. He can reveal the alleged racist royal. He can reveal what William actually said in that text message, which was so tantalizing, held up to Meghan but not screened to the rest of the world. A lot has been left on a cliffhanger, and there is a £35 million book deal here, so don't underestimate the couple or their capacity to surprise and throw in a few more bombs just when you thought there were no more. I don't think the royal family are terrified by anything, least of all what is going to come next in Harry's autobiography. But concerned? Apprehensive? Yes. Ready to respond? Quite possibly. Wearied by all of this? Absolutely. Palace Intrigue will be right back. Meghan is said to be not thrilled with the final edit of the Harry and Meghan documentary. Royal expert Kinsey Schofield told Fox News, While I agree that they feel like their side of the story was important, I have heard that Meghan was not thrilled with the final edit. Expect Spare, like the reality show, to lack detail, full of filler, a la the bit about Harry losing his virginity to a beautiful older woman. Who was it? Most people are noticing that while Harry and Meghan like to talk, the two seem to lack substance and detail. All these media ventures, the book, the podcast, the reality show, are a way for Harry and Meghan to try to control the narrative. Please don't buy this book because you think it will help you get to the bottom of some mystery because this book is a branding tool for a royal reject. DW.com had some fun with what might be next for Harry and Meghan. They write, Walt Disney Studios love to make movies about princes and princesses and after all acting is Meghan's profession. A romantic love story about a prince who leaves his family for a woman of the people or a remake of Beauty and the Beast? The possibilities are endless. But can Meghan and Harry sing? After all, nearly every good Disney film includes a whole range of pop ballads, many of which become famous in their own right. The song Let It Go from the Disney film Frozen, for example, turned out to be an instant hit. This might also be good advice for the famous couple and secure them a place in the charts. And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. Please follow us on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your favorite shows. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Palace Intrigue and good times. <laughs>